Very good afternoon to you. It's Jim from Avstar Observatory. Well, as promised, I took out the SD card from the Trimax system and I've processed that data. I'm going to show you the chart first and I'm going to show you what's happened. Uh, so here's the latest uh, data you can see. The Trimag is working perfect. You know, we've collected 140,000 readings since the 17th of last month. Now I want you to bring your attention to how flat the line is. Because if you go back into the archive, you'll see that there has always been bumps up and down. So we're seeing two things. I'm, I'm not going to show you just yet what where the position is, but I'm going to tell you now, this is completely unheard of in the six years that we've been collecting this data. Because we've always seen movement uh, sporadically throughout the month, as you can see from all of the charts that we've got going back six years. But the recent one and the one before that are perfectly flat and the data that we're getting used to be 1357 going up to 1387 now we've seen 1337 and 1306 so let me show you what's happened to where the magnetic north pole is today and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So, as you can see, we have a different colour pin, and that's an indication that the magnetic north pole is now tracking westerly. It is, as you can see, also um, migrated westerly by 1.08 miles. So, the new latitude and longitude for the current position of the magnetic north pole is as follows. The latitude is 82 degrees, 2 hours, 12 minutes, 67 seconds north, by 116 degrees, 13 hours, 6 minutes, 59 seconds east. It's gone back, guys. We're truly in unprecedented times. You know, I have never known the magnetic north pole track backwards at any point in the last, oh, say, I don't know, we've been monitoring it for six years, so it certainly hasn't done it in that point in time. And I've never seen it track backwards before, um, you know, in the history that I've been researching this, probably around about 12 years now. And uh, even if you go back into, you know, the archived positions that NOAA has, uh, which is where all the other pins, if I just zoom out, which is where all the other pins uh, information came from, you'll see it's never done this before so what's what's going on is quite unusual and we should be concerned about this you know you would think that this would be something NASA the European Space Agency especially the European Space Agency actually and NOAA would be you know talking about it in mainstream media but they're not so we have you know a magnetic pole now tracking westerly. Not only is the magnetic north pole tracking westerly now, but the Earth's inner core is starting to slow down. Now it is it is based on the theory that it is the swirling molten inner core that generates the magneto. So if that is slowing down you know we could see a collapse of the magnetosphere when that happens because if those currents aren't swirling then there will be nothing according to what is the theory on what is generating the magnetic field there will be nothing to generate it so our magnetosphere will collapse and the dipoles will disappear if that happens now this is research that's been done in Southern California by professors. And there must be a good reason why they have announced this now. But not only is the Earth's inner core slowing down, but we're starting to see strange behaviour with the magnetic North Pole doing something it hasn't done before, and that is go back on itself. So this is very interesting times that we're in. And, um, well, I don't need to explain what will happen when the magnetosphere does collapse. But it won't be good news. 
because what about if it does stop and it shuts down the magnetosphere what's going to protect us from all the harmful inner solar system radiation generated by our solar winds off the sun and intergalactic and outer galactic radiation inbound you know if what we've witnessed over the last 35 years has been a result of um, more cosmic radiation breaking through our primary defensive field the magnetosphere then you know you know we're going to see cancer rates go through the roof across all ranges of biodiversity not just humans it will not just affect human beings you know if that magnetosphere collapses they will ground every single aircraft because it will be too dangerous and it's worse than that in any case because we're already having slight ionization of our upper atmosphere in any case the term that nasa uses is sputtering you can check their uh, mavin uh, research on this their new one of their new missions so only time will tell what happens will will the dipoles thin out i mean we're seeing a you know a, a bottom line going on there you know there definitely is effect on the magnetic poles of our planet right now we're clearly seeing that but we're also hearing about why it might be the case because the rotation of the earth's inner core may be slowing down if we have a massive increase in you know sputtering which is where the solar wind strips away our upper atmosphere then it will be possibly possibly I'm not saying it is the case and I don't want to fear anybody but it may be the case that this planet is dying it will be game over unless we we do something drastic now it's not going to be like the film you know the day the earth stood still with all the core stood still remember and everybody's that pacemakers dropped down dead it won't be like that there'll be no um traveling to the center of the earth to regenerate the core if the core stops comes to a halt and it does it in a very short space of time what's going to regenerate it that we we haven't got that technology like in that film we can't generate another magnetosphere i mean we can't even achieve renewables so that we can get free electricity we can't even achieve that that's how inadequate we are on big scale things so again we're going to check what's going on on the 17th uh, of this month with regards to the magnetic north pole and um, I've got some other data I've got to uh, sort out from Canada that's got to go up on the website from one of our superstars there so uh, Kendall be patient I have got the emails with all the data in there I'm going to get around to it it's been a very busy week and um, you know I, I want to also thank those people over the last couple of days that have been chipping in a few books for the observatory because look at what's happened it's paying off now isn't it you know those donations that we've raised to get this far has started to pay off because now like i promised a little bit ahead of time we're starting to see some movement in the pole that we haven't seen before so you know without those funds that we've raised we wouldn't be here right now we'd be in the dark just listening to what is already on the news or what other people are just talking about you know regurgitating this stuff as we are collecting data mass collecting data on this current event because it's important it's our home this is our earth where we live so 
it's not mandatory guys if you want to make you know a small contribution to what we're doing here there's a link down there in the description or become one of our patrons it's entirely up to you but you know now is the time to get behind us I'll leave you with those thoughts guys you know as promised I said I'd break out the SD card early and do the um, chart for it it's on the website if you want to go and have a look under the Trimag uh, data you'll see the latest um, chart there and the only other thing to say is you know take care of your loved ones as always bye for now